Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the PC Joe Brilliant video. And today, y'all, we're going to be looking at a Gyarados VMAX deck. You do not want to attack Gyarados VMAX, and this is why. Gyarados VMAX is a really underrated attacker, in my opinion. It's not a bad card at all. I know it's soft play with Arceus. We ain't playing Arceus in this deck, though. We're just playing Gyarados with Frostmoth. Gyarados has the attack Hyper Beam for 3 energy, does 120, discard energy from your opponent's active. Not bad at all. That could be pretty good in some scenarios where your opponent can't attack. And then, of course, you have Max Tyrant, which does a flat-out 240 damage. The nice thing about Gyarados is Gyarados V. Gyarados V's got to get angry. Does 20 damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon. The whole idea of this deck is if they attack your Gyarados, you put a Memory Capsule on your Gyarados VMAX, then you can copy get angry and take a big one shot so say your opponent attacks you with like an rc's v star for 180 damage you can then go get angry memory capsule and knock them out in return which is really really cool so get angry gyarados is a pretty fun combo to work with and i wanted to retry it it's been a while since i played it and uh, the deck did gain some cool new cards I like having the addition of a barrel and luminion in the deck are pretty good upgrades in the deck for sure yeah so for the video of course show to the sponsor card cavern tcg as always y'all if you're ever looking to get any pc gel pack codes get your codes over at card cavern of course card cavern sells codes online for the cheapest so if you're going to get any sets like a brilliant stars the main set or older sets like Evolving Skies or Fusion Strike. Get them over there. If you get anything at Card Cavern at the checkout, use my discount code, code LDF, for a 5% discount on your order. Help the channel, help yourself out, and up our Card Cavern. So shut up, Card Cavern, check them out, and use code LDF if you get any codes. Um, also, make sure to check out the Shuffle Squad YouTube channel down below. I am a content creator on their channel now, so you definitely want to make sure you sub to them. They're actually close to 2,000 followers, so it'd be great, or subscribers, so it'd be awesome if you subscribe to them, because I am now a content creator on the channel. There's a lot of lovely people on the channel. A lot of my friends are on there, so definitely give them a sub. Anyways, here's the list I'm playing for the Gyarados deck. Now, again, Gyarados is a really fun card to play. There are a few downsides to it. One, it does require a lot of energy to attack. The other downside is Gyarados is one thick Pokemon. It's got a four retreat cost. Gyarados V has a three retreat. This does make boss plays kind of annoying. Your opponent can boss trap Gyarados, and sometimes that will lose you the game. It is not always a given. It's a bit of a tricky card to master, but I do really like it quite a bit. I am using it with Frostmoth. It's been a while since I've done a Frostmoth deck. I'm not playing it with Arceus. I know Gyarados Arceus would have been a decent deck, but even then, like, I, I kind of just like playing the Gyarados by itself. Make your opponent go through two Gyaradoses is hard to do, to be honest, for your opponent to win the game, because when you have that get angry threat on board, it's really, really good. Um, especially when you're playing against like Duraludon or just any deck that just doesn't one-shot you. You just get angry, them return. It's pretty powerful. I am playing Crush and Hammer in the deck. The deck can still play some Hyper Beam packages. You can still use Hyper Beam to kind of slow the opponent down. And it can be really good when combined with Crush and Hammer. It's just giving you that extra time and stuff to set up. And it's honestly not bad. And I really like the Crush and Hammer in the deck. Um, I am playing two Switch. I kind of want to play three Switch or even a Rope. The Switch is super relevant because you need it for Gyarados. Because again, your Gyarados can get stuck with a boss. You can also start with Gyarados, which can be really awkward. So that's why I like having the Switches in the deck. I wouldn't mind playing an extra Switching card. But I do like having Air Balloon because you still want to play a Pivot card. Especially for Frostmoth. We can use Frostmoth to build up Bench Gyarados. So I still think you need to play the Pivot. But a third Switch is good. Kind of a counteract Gyarados starts too. I like having Melanie in the deck. If you open up Gyarados, you can still go attach into a Melanie the following turn. When you have Luminion on the deck, you can easily find your Melanie. You can Melanie to the Gyarados and build it up that way, which is why Melanie's good. And at that point, I kind of want to play two Melanies over one. It's just kind of how we rock. I got 10 waters, a capture energy. I like having it. We do play a lot of Pokemon we want to bench, like Gyarados, Bidoof, and Snom, of course. And then we're playing one training court. I wouldn't mind playing two training court or even energy retrieval, but it is what it is. This is the Gyarados VMAX deck I am playing today. It's a lot of fun to play. It can be tricky to play against because, again, you do not want to attack Gyarados VMAX. And this is why. Let's go show it off on PC Joe. All right, looks like we're going to go second. Playing against potentially an Arceus deck. And we open up with a good hand. If only we went first. It would have been such a good hand going first, so I'm not going to lie. See we're playing against. Yeah. Could have been a better hand if we were going first, but we'll be all good because we can go Snom, Quick Ball for Gyarados, Capture Energy, get a B Doof or something, or get another Snom actually. We're playing against Arceus. Going second against Arceus is not fun. Oh, Arceus Duraludon. But now I can't go Capture Energy on Gyarados. I capture the active. If they don't get the Arceus Energy down this turn, then that's good. Because then we don't have to worry about getting knocked out next turn, and then my Snom will be, my Snom should be safe. So I'm kind of hoping they don't get the, uh, I'm kind of hoping they don't get the Arceus here. Arceus energy would be pretty annoying. Going second against Arceus feels bad a lot of the time. So hopefully they don't have it. Arceus draw on bricks every time, one time. So yeah, I can't go capture G on the active. So I, ca I can't go capture on Gyarados, right? Because then we can't do, we can't hit the Duraludon. To be fair though, we have a one-shot ability on Duraludon. We got, oh no, they have the Ultra Ball. Don't do it, bro. They have the energy. They definitely have the Arceus energy then. Again, we have the ability to one-shot. Oh, but they attach a Duraludon. Okay, never mind. What I was going to say 
We do have the ability to one shot with the uh, thing. All right, should I just get another snom? Another snom, sure, just in case. You never know what they got up their sleeve. And I'll pass. All right. What I was going to say, they hit Mojimax Pulverization. We got Get Angry Memory Capsule. And we can one shot Duraludon. Not even a threat. I don't know why they didn't attach to Arceus, though. I mean, we're lucky we didn't because it feels so bad when they attach to Arceus Vista. But it's all good. Because when you go first, you go second against Arceus and they get the Arceus Energy, bro, it feels so bad. Okay, they're stuck in top deck mode, so I can't really Marnie them. Hammer's good. Could go. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Probat or Luminion should be in the next. We're going to Crushing Hammer, Flip Heads. Love to see it. We're going to Ultra Ball. Grab ourselves the Bat. Attach the Active so we can retreat. And we're going to try to go Crobat into the KO. No. Damn, okay. It's not bad, though. I could just do Melanie, which... I'm honestly kind of content with just Melanie in here. Let's do it. This is Melanie. Frostmoth Energy? No. Close enough. Not really. Fine, we got the barrel next turn. It's all good. I think it was worth it to play the Melanie there. There's no reason not to because, like, we we're going to research anyways. Might as well just play Melanie. It was worth it because if I get Frostmoth or Ultra Ball, I got Bucket, you know, it would have been fine. I think Melanie was always the correct play there. We are getting punished, though, for doing it, but it's fine. It was always the correct play. They are still slow, right? They're slow. They We got successfully rid of an energy there. Another way we can beat Duraludon is by hyper beaming them. Oh, they got a boss. Okay. Less boss they have, the better. Man, that's not a good draw. <laughs> Hatch. Balloon. Switch. Here we go. Can we get Frostmoth off the barrel for two? We do not. I get another Gyarados, though. We're losing energy, which feels bad. I got Training Court, though. Okay, there we go. Can Hyper Beam him, which I'll have to do. Gotta get rid of a hammer, but it's for a good cause, Chan. It's for a good cause. All right, we'll put that there. Keep that one energy retreat open. And we're gonna have to hyper beam them, which isn't even that bad because we can still set them up. So we got the hammer. Yeah, we got that. We got that hammer on them. I am a little scared of them bossing this other Gyarados, though. So that is a bit of a concern. They could boss my other Gyarados, but they'd have to have another boss within their hand, which they may or may not have. So I'm not really concerned about it. So another switch in the deck. I can also balloon the active. One thing I don't like about this deck is having two Gyaradoses in play. It's such an easy boss target. There's a Poke Gear. They get a research. All right, they finally got somewhere, but we're in a pretty good spot if they do go research because, like, it ain't good for them. Hyper Potion? Sure. They have to go double Arceus. Yeah, because they're not going to be able to build up their Drought on this turn if they go if they go one Arceus because I they don't have energy on it. And there's a research. They're getting punished for not putting energy on Arceus. They would have been discard anyways because we did flip pads on Crushing Hammer, but you see what I'm saying? I will right, we'll see what they got. Crystal Cave. It's fine. They got the V-Star. They have to basically just go switch turbo, right? And then we max Tyrant them for the KO. And then they hit me, and then I go get angry. Yeah, that's how we do it. That's how Gyarados does it. And ideally, we want to build this other Gyarados up if we can. So I kind of map my game plan out. I can take a knockout max Tyrant here on their Arceus, assuming I don't whiff energy, which could happen. I am down some energy. There's a chance I do whiff the energy here, but we'll see. Max Tyrant for the KO. They go Pulverization. I don't whiff the capsule i knock them out yeah should be pretty straightforward to win this game okay cool and also hammer the fight energy off right make them dig for the other fighting though there is a world where i may have to play training court to get this knockout which would help them never mind we do not have play training court we do not flip heads okay we'll bucket for double energy of course attach get this guy powered up Play the barrel. Nice. There's memory capsule. Another Gyarados is good. Okay. I'll save their memory capsule. There's a world where they play tool scrapper. I ain't taking that risk. We just max turn. You're dead, bro. Bye bye. RCSV. We got our two prizes. Water energy is fantastic. Yep. Okay. They still could boss this Gyarados and leave it stranded. I was not able to get two energy on it, which was kind of what I was hoping to do. I maybe then should have researched, but I wanted to keep the memory capsule because we're not... I personally don't think we can win this game without the memory capsule. If they play a tool scrapper, then I'm basically just screwed. Like, I, I'm pretty sure I can... I probably lose if they tool scrapper me. That's why I wanted to hold on to the, the capsule there. That's why I didn't research, though. The only reason I would ever want to research... Yep, there's the boss. Well, they go after Frostmoth, though. 
Okay, that's good. All right. I guess we can't attack the Duraludon with Gyarados and knock it out in one hit, but that's still pretty good that they did that. They didn't. That was literally pointless. Still kind of want to hold the hand. Grab another... Grab Lumineon here. Could Marnie them. Marnie's not terrible. They're down two boss. Honestly, I am going to probably Hyper Beam them here. Make them have the other fighting. They're down two fighting. Hyper Beam's probably the fine play. It doesn't really matter if we do Max Tyrant or Hyper Beam, right? I have 330 HP. If I hyper beam him for 120, we heal 30. Yeah, I think we just hyper beam him. Gonna fail that, and there's the barrel for two. I'm gonna save the I'm saving the capsule. I just don't want to risk my opponent having the play. Yep, force him to find fighting. I like it. Make him have the fighting here. Or make him go into Arceus since it's training Nova. And then I just go Luminion for boss on the Duraludon if they attack. No matter what, this Duraludon is gonna die, is what I'm trying to say. Literally perfect math. They heal 30, and Max Tyrant still one-shots them. Assuming that they don't whiff. But yeah, we're going to make them have the fighting here. Make it awkward for them. They only play... I think they play four in total, so like... The odds they have it aren't always super high. I ain't giving them training court. It ain't going to happen. I'm not going to give them the free training court. Get the research. They got to dig. And they find it. Research for seven. It might have been better, though, to honestly switch an Arceus, but this works too. Okay, they got the heal. Do they have the fine energy? No fighting... And there's the scoop. All right, let's get a Gyarados. I figured that match was going to be pretty straightforward. We'll take it. Right, we're going second. It's not ideal, but we'll be okay. And our opening hand's fine enough, I guess. We can get Snom, Gyarados here. We got Luminion. It's all good. All right, we'll see what we're up against, though. We got Crush and Hammer. So going second with Crush and Hammer is not that bad. We could reset my opponent. Another Duraludon deck. This time with Krikatoon. Is it a Rose Duraludon deck? Yo, that's kind of spicy. That's a pretty spicy deck. If that is what they're playing. I imagine it is. Do they have Arceus? Station? Maybe they're not playing Rose? I don't know. Again, Duraludon's not bad. They hit me with G-Max Pulverization and I just go get angry. But I can't play Capture Energy. I am scared of that Zacian, though. I really hate Intrepid Sword because, watch, they're going to hit a bunch of energy. No, they don't. I right, never punished. What do we draw? Nom? Ooh. Okay, so let's Crushing Hammer. Nice. Quick Ball. Up Gyarados. I guess, yeah, it's fine. Grab Gyarados. Question is, am I researching, though? Uh, the odds they attack next turn are pretty low. I think I'll just grab another Snom. Or maybe I shouldn't bench anything, actually. Bench Luminion, bench Gyarados. No, I'll get another Snom. It's fine. Oh, but Barrel's prized. I didn't even realize. Maybe I should have went Crobat there. No, it's fine. We'll just do this. I could Marnie them, but they have Krikatoon in the active spot. I think it's fine to just research. Yeah, it's fine. They have Krikatoon in the active. Marnie and them, I feel Marnie doesn't really give us much of an advantage. Hey, not a great hand, but we'll try to make it work. Not the Crobat next turn. Hmm. Pass. What we'll the Crobat next turn? That was a pretty bad thing. If they boss my Gyarados here, that could be pretty problematic. I did just discard a switch. They boss me. I have to try to Melanie. I think it doesn't really matter. We can still Melanie if they boss me, but it'd be kind of annoying if they did. They do have a big hand. The chance they do have a boss are actually pretty high. Hmm. That's not good. As long as you do not boss my Gyarados here, I'll be okay. There's the Duraludon. That's fine. Again, we have the ability to smack it with uh, G Max Pulp or Get Angry. Plus, we can remove their fine energy too. Okay, they just researched. No boss. Okay, they'd have a boss too. They just lost three Duraludon and a row. They play four Duraludon? Damn. I don't think you need to play four. That's a little overkill. I kind of like their idea though. The Rose Duraludon deck is kind of a cool idea. Oh, they play Hammer. I don't know how they fit that in. And they, of course, look at Bruh. Fine. The Hammer heads. So they're both playing Hammer. You'll love to see it, bro. So that's fun. Another matchup where it's going to be all about coin flips. They only have one Duraludon. So it's like, that's good. They didn't actually need to bench that, but they had to bench it for Krikatoon. That's pretty good. Hmm. They got Articuno. Okay. They're trying to set Rose, it looks like. So we maybe want a Crushing Hammer. Actually, if I can knock out the Krikatoon. No, they have Zamazenta. Okay, then I have to make sure I don't lose my boss orders. I can take with Gyarados, I guess. Okay, what a top deck. Let's go. That was like the perfect top deck we could have gotten. 
It sucks I can't play the capture energy though on my Gyarados, but it's fine. It's all good. I'll just put capture energy on the Snom. Alright, here we go. Crobat, we need you, buddy, to get me some goodies. Nice. I could kill Gyarados and they knock me out Draladon, so I think I have to go for the VMAX. We can research, it's fine. We can afford to lose a Gyarados. Cool. Crushing Hammer's good. Again, they can go Zam, which sucks, but it's fine. Nice, we flip heads. Let's just see it. Cool. Okay. They go Zam. Not much I can do about it. We can Hyper Beam the Zam, so it can't attack, though. And there's the Barrel. That's a really good prize. Gyarados is a really good prize. I still have my boss in the deck. Both boss. Actually, I could still win if I just go boss, boss, right? There's, I mean, Articuno and Zacian forever are going to be in play. They can't evolve or anything. So those things can always get boss. So I can still win boss, boss. So it's not that bad. And I can keep slowing the Zam down. If they try to ever build it up, I can just keep hyper beaming it to death. Not too bad. They have Crushing Hammer too. So I got to watch. I keep forgetting they also play Crushing Hammer. How much I played a one of path in this deck? I, I considered it. I don't know. This deck still kind of relies on Luminion and Crobat though to help you. So I don't know if I really like path in here in all honesty. I think it's just going to be a Marnie and they just pray we find boss. Oh, they're going to Marnie me. That's fine. Again, we got uh, the barrel. Oh, no, we don't have a barrel. It's going to the bottom of the deck. Okay, that could be bad. Two Ultra Balls, but barrel going to the bottom. Not liking these odds. But I still get boss anyways. I got a hammer. That flip heads. Okay, please don't have another hammer. No, dude. Now I'm tilted. We would have had the boss KO. Oh my god, that is so annoying. All right, we got the barrel back. It's all good. Do I hold? I don't want to Ultra Ball any of these cards. I'm going to keep that Memory Capsule. There is a world where we still need another Gyarados. I'm going to protect that Capsule. So we're just going to Hyper Beam the Zam for zero damage. They have one Hammer. If they flip a, if they flip their last Hammer Heads here, I'm going to be a little tilted. I'm not going to lie. Because I need to make sure I go Max Tyrant next turn on that Zacian. Like, we should be... I mean, we just kill Zacian. They go Drought on. Boop, I win. We get angry. It's like that simple. Yeah, I'm going to keep that capsule. They also could be playing Tool Scrapper, right? So I don't want to take that risk. They're attaching the Zam. That's what I was hoping they would be doing. Because I can still... As long as I can remove the energy on the Zam, I can keep slowing it down. And they just pass. Perfect. Okay, thank heavens. They don't have a Crushing Hammer. Just go boss here. Max Tyrant. I'm not going to play the Ultra Ball quite yet. I'm going to keep my hand. I don't want to give her the energy in case they hammer me. Get two prizes. We get ourselves. The other boss of the prizes, would you look at that? We get a Melanie. Melanie's good. They could Marnie me. Man, they have to Marnie me this turn, actually. They have to Marnie me this turn, and then they gotta hope I don't draw into my boss off the Marnie. They can go Zam here, but Zam's not gonna do anything. And if they go Zam, I, again, I can keep doing Get Angry on the Zam and keep trying to slow it down. But we're chilling. I do like their deck, though. I actually, the idea of doing Rose Duraludon, I honestly do not hate that. That isn't a terrible deck idea. Because there's a few ways you can use Duraludon. You can play it with Arceus. You can play it with Houndoom. You can play it with Rose. I kind of like their deck. I actually do rate the idea of Rose Draladon. That's not a terrible idea. I don't think I'd play this many basic Vs though, because as you can see, my opponent is literally losing because I can just keep spamming boss. That's game. Boss back to back to win the game. And they ever attacked me, right? They were just walking into a KO with get angry and it's all good. So that's GG's. Switch hammer being our last prizes. There you go. Gyarados takes another dub. All right. Looks like we won the coin flip. We'll take it. Now, let's see how we get going here. We open up another Gyarados. We do not. We actually get a very good hand. Oh, Snom. I'm going to try to go double Snom here, I think. Then I can retreat this guy for one energy. All right, what are we up against? Urshifu. Oh, boy. Urshifu's pretty good, though. We use long. Okay, we prize Manaphy. That's not good, but it's good I'm going first because we don't have to worry about it getting rapid flow turn two if I do prize my mana fee. You know what I'm saying? I could still boss this. We'll see though. We got mana fee, we do. Okay, that's all I need to know. As long as I need mana fees in the deck, we're vibing. Might grab it now. We're going to play training court. All right, we'll get rid of the energy. Plus, we can open up the door for a Melanie. Grab mana fee now. They're not going to KO this turn, so I might as well just grab it now and say, hey, bro, I got mana fee, bro. Nice try. So. We get rid of the energy, because now if they boss my Gyarados, I can also go Melanie and Hyper Beam. Which is kind of the idea behind, you know, getting that water in the discard, so. No, they're just going to keep calling. Alright, that's fine. So this matchup is going to be interesting. I still think this is a fine matchup. It kind of sucks we can't use Get Angry against Urshifu. 
knock it out of the gale thrust me, but it's fine. Okay. Alright, how am I doing this? There's so many options. I think we're just going to get rid of Lumineon. And we'll... Get Frostmoth. Just going to go for the Frostmoth here. Fine. If we whiff it, we whiff it. Gotta find Switcher Air Balloon. And we need Gyarados, obviously. Nice. Well, I do need B Barrel. I don't know. I don't know if I like just going Gyarados here. Kind of leaves me in top deck mode. But that's not that big of a deal, though, I feel like. Hmm. Nah, it's fine. We'll go Gyarados. It's fine. Go Bucket. Yeah, thin in the deck, sure. I don't know. Leave myself in top deck mode. Like, this feels a little bad. Maybe I should just win Crobat then. I don't want to give my opponent a free Crobat, though. That just, no. Benching Crobat against Hershfu is always a trap. It's always a trap. I don't know. I'm not a fan of leave myself in top deck mode. Fine, though. We'll be okay. We'll be fine, y'all. We'll just max Tyrant them. I don't know. I don't want to bench Crobat in this matchup. Maybe I should have just gone the barrel. Mm. I mean, it's not the end of the world. I still have another Gyarados, right? It's all good. It's all good. I don't know. We'll see if it, we get punished for it. I'm not getting punished, Chad. I never get punished. As long as we got Manaphy in play, too, I'm feeling safe. And I got Switch Gyarados. I don't know. Because if I whip the Gyarados there, that's bad. I wanted to knock out their Sobble. Because we can go knock out Sobble Karishu and then take two prizes. I don't know. Okay, they got the Energy Search. If that last game was better, there was a world where I could have killed their Urshifu with a boss. That would have been pretty good. Yeah, they're going to Gale Thrust. Now, it'd be very generous if they played a Choice Belt here so that I can knock them out with Get Angry. I doubt that'll happen. Now, if they do attack, I can actually do Hyper Beam on them and make it so they can't do like a G-Max Rapid Flow, which I guess they won't end up doing. But I don't know. Maybe Hyper Beam is still fine. I don't know. Max Tyrant's probably just better, though. They could Cheryl, though, too, which is, I don't know. Could get awkward, I'm not going to lie. Could get awkward. No, they're going to boss me. They're actually going to take out my Mana Fee. Well, now I'm definitely going to hyperbeam them. That's fine. Uh, it's kind of annoying, not going to lie, but whatever. I don't have a way to get Manaphy back. If only I played a Nessa. I originally did play Nessa in this deck, but it was I found it to be kind of pointless, but I wish I had it. But that's fine. We can still... Ooh, there's boss. So we can still go hyperbeam so that they can't do rapid flow. So that's good. Hyperbeam, Max Tyrant still works pretty well here. You can build up the other Gyarados before... And then, yeah, we'll just Hyper Beam them here. Remove their fighting so they can't do G-Max Rapid Flow. Nice. So that's what I'm saying. Never punish. They can't. I mean, they could have, like, a Multra Z-Switch, but I don't think they do. I'm pretty sure the Urshu deck doesn't do that, so should be okay. Then we can knock them out Max Tyrant with boss next turn. If they don't heal this, I can just Max Tyrant it. So, pretty good stuff. The door is always open to be Rapid Float, I guess, but as long as everything works out, we should be okay. They could Cheryl this turn. I'm a little worried about them going with Cheryl here, but fine again i also am still in topic mode so i mean anything is possible at this point you know what i'm saying anything is possible but we'll see we will see what happens anything is still possible no yeah they got the cheryl no dude i can give him frost moth though i don't really need that anymore frost moth has kind of served its purpose yeah they are gonna cheryl that is annoying but again it's not the end of the world i can still keep doing hyper beam it is kind of frustrating though we'll give him frost moth it's fine can't really give him bidoof obviously or Gyarados. It's a little annoying, but it is what it is. The Cheryl kind of sucks, but whatever. We'll just Hyper Beam them again. I'll just keep Hyper Beaming away at this friggin' Urshifu. I guess I could Cheryl again, though, with friggin'... I guess there is a world where they could do another Cheryl, though. Palpad would still let them Cheryl, but there's only so many times they could do Cheryl. Fine. Hit them with a Hyper Beam and pray. Matchup is kind of annoying, though, I'm not going to lie. But we'll see. What do we draw? Can it be something good? No. All right. We are still breaking. So the punishment is still in full force. But anyways, Hyper Beam. No energy for you, Mr. Urshifu. No energy for you. They can training court it back. But again, as long as it cannot do G-Max Rapid Flow, I really don't care. Oh, you know what? Oh, maybe we should have actually game Gyarados. Because you know what they could do? They can set up a Yoga Loop now. They can go Gale Thrust, Quick Shooting, uh... They could potentially Yoga Loop me. Well, we'll see. If we do get Yoga Loop, we're kind of fudged. 
Maybe this matchup's not a good... Maybe this is a bad matchup, actually. It's kind of a pain. The Shrew deck is kind of a pain in the butt to play against. It doesn't really matter what deck you're playing. It just kind of is a pain. Fine, we got boss in hand, so that's all that matters. I need to draw something soon, though. But I can never bench Crobat anymore. I guess I could, but maybe at the end of the game. I'm gonna go Moltres here. Fine, they can't attack me with it. They're probably gonna Gale Thrust me again, but that's fine. Then I can knock out the Urshifu with Max Tyrant. Or maybe I should just go after Moltres, I don't know. They do play Energy Switch. Of course they do. That's fine, though. The Rapid Flow isn't really that, that threatening this turn. We're gonna knock him out. It's actually, you know what, no. This is fine, because I can kill Urshifu and Moltres to win. This is actually perfectly fine. Kind of, I want to kill them with the other Gyarados. Well, it doesn't really matter. I just need to be able to one-shot Moltres. Okay, this is actually totally fine. Okay, that's fine. We do lose our draw out, so we could still be stuck in top deck mode. But now I think we can win the game. Okay. That Crobat. Marnie here would be delicious. If I switch another Gyarados, I have to because it'll aura burn Raihan me. Take away that option. All right, Crobat. Dude, no, we actually whiffed off that? Wow, that was a weak sauce Crobat. That was a really bad Crobat. I cannot kill the Urshifu. Dude, I actually think we're going to lose now. That was a horrible Crobat. Dude, all I had to do was go Max Tyrant, knock him out, kill the Urshifu, so they can't Raihan or burn me in the same turn. Because they could have just won by KO my Gyarados with Raihan or burn. I'm ticked. Alright, I'm going to kill their Inteleon. Dude. Oh my god. That's so bad, bro. I think we probably lose now. That sucks. I guess a well time Marnie could win us the game. All I had to do there was knock out that Urshifu and I could have won. Because there's no way this thing could attack, right? Because if I knock him out this guy, they just go Raihan, Aura Burn, Attach, Choice Belt, Knockout. I had to avoid that. We got punished, and we didn't draw into a way to kill the Urshifu. But take another Inteleon hopefully gives me a bit of leverage. We'll see, though. I still don't even have a draw supporter. This is so bad, bro. This is so bad. Escape rope, that's fine. We'll give him Crobat. Shouldn't be a big deal. They play double rope. They, this is a crazy list. They got rope, Cheryl, freaking energy switch, dude. Got the knockout now, but now they can win with boss. I need to Marnie them. I need to Marnie them here. We'll see. All they have to do is go boss, choice belt, knockout Gyarados, and they can win. So we have to deny that. They could win with quick shooting too, actually. Okay. I need to Marnie them here. It has to be knockout Gyarados VMAX, and then play a Marnie this turn. I think it's my only chance of winning. What I gotta do. I can crush an hammer the I guess I can crush an hammer. Okay, maybe we can still win. I hate how this game is so close. It should not be this close, but here we are. Alright, what do we draw? Come on, give me a good top deck. Budge. No Marnie this turn. Rip. We need this to flip heads. Okay, there we go. That's good. That's really good. Grab the Gyarados. Yeah, it's cool. Alright, this works out. Knock out their active, right? We KO their active, and then we just hope they don't win this turn. They probably have the game. And we did knock out their Inteleon, though. Don't forget, we did kill their Inteleon. But I needed... Marnie... I think Marnie honestly would have guaranteed the win, to be honest, if I just went Marnie there. Dude, I needed draw supporters. We just weren't able to find any draw supporters. I needed to Marnie them there. I think they should win. They can just win Moltres. Maybe Moltres. Very likely they can go Moltres, especially with that training court in play. They probably have it here. We'll see. They don't have potentially shady dealings to work with, which is what I'm kind of hoping for here, but they should win if they can just go baby Moltres. To be fair, they are down a boss, though. There's a world where they don't have the other boss, so we'll see what happens. If my opponent plays this right. They should just have game, though. This would have been so much more. We literally, I think we would have, I think we just would have won the game had we knocked out that Urshifu that one turn. I think that probably would have sealed the deal. Or if we drew a little bit better, if I was able to Marnie them at any point. Like, I'm pretty sure if we did Marnie this turn, I'm pretty sure we probably would have just won the game. I don't think they could do 330 damage, though. Yeah, no, they can't do 330 damage. So they have to basically get a boss this turn or an escape rope. 
They are down two rope. I doubt they played three, so we should be fine. They would have won if they had rope two, obviously. So it's just down to whether or not they have it or not. There's some Elven Charge. Do they just have game in hand? They have to Crobat first. Okay, there's a chance. There's a chance. They need to find a switching card and a boss here to win the game. And they might not have the... Uh, they may not have the uh, the play. So it's basically... If they win... It's basically whoever does whatever this turn decides the victor of the match. So if they win this turn... If they can win this turn, we lose. If they don't win this turn, we do win. So it might be might be down to that. They have no potential shady dealings to work with because I did kill their Intelli on there. So as long as they cannot do that, we should be fine. They could have a Clara, but as long as they can't do boss or rope, we should be fine. And I don't think they have any rope left in their deck. I'm pretty sure they're not playing more than just two. Two. We did it! Oh my god! Dude, this match this search for match was a pain in the butt to play against, but damn. That was close. That's to wrap the video on my Gyarados deck with those matches there. This deck is a lot of fun to play, and uh, it's not bad. Gyarados is a pretty fun attacker to play. It's got pretty good attacks, and of course, the ability to do get angry is always a good time. So I definitely recommend giving this Gyarados deck a try if you haven't already. After playing the deck, I don't think I'd make many changes to it. I wouldn't mind another Melanie, to be honest. But other than that, I think the deck list is fine with how it is, and I think it's a pretty solid deck overall. I really do... Enjoy it. You definitely do not want to attack Gyarados VMAX. So if you all enjoyed the video, if you did, leave a like in the video if you're new to the channel. Subscribe down below. Help me on the road to reaching 28,000 subscribers. Check out Car Cabin down below. Use Call DF. Check out my Twitch, my Twitter, and my Discord server down below, as always. And um, yeah, I think that'll be it for me. Check out Shuffle Squad down below. Make sure you all subscribe to the channel. Help me reach, help them reach 2K followers. Um, In fact, there should be a video on the Shuffle Squad YouTube channel tomorrow, I think, that I'm going to be posting. So definitely you want to make sure you're sub to them. Anyways, hope you all have a good day. I'm heading out. I'm going to watch some indie regionals and bye-bye. Uh,